Hi, welcome back to EDC Ballistics. Pay no mind to tractors in the background or barking dogs or horses kicking fences. This is part two of the 150 grain HST micro ammo test using this MP shield with its three inch short barrel for the testing. And then here's a quick review of the first video. We will begin where we left off on the last video using a Paul Harold inspired meat target for our testing medium. Now back to the show. Paul Harold inspired meat target. We got some. Check out the damage. There's uh, one bullet resting on the water there. Jug, another water. And tear this apart. Let's we'll see the damage is here. Here's another uh, bullet just laying between the bottles. I believe that one just fell down from the t shirt. And then we got this one right here. I'll keep digging, see what we can find. At least three holes in the back of the t-shirt. Well, it looks like there's one stuck in there somewhere. Okay, this is the aftermath of the 150 grain HST. I found three of the bullets. You see clearly that one is definitely at the bone there. One that did not partially, uh, only partially expanded. And rip this uh, jug half and a uh, bunch of meat guts and goo in there. This one also got ripped, and then these ones got nicked. We got a, this little hole in our pork chop petrol. Um, mangled our oranges pretty well. A couple of these were just nicked. Completely missed the hot dogs. And our hip bones shattered them. Uh, Well, now that we got to have our fun outside, I get to have the fun inside doing all the math. Yeah, I think I got the short end here. But when we used the chronograph and we measured the feet per second, over five shots it averaged to 912.6. And then when we converted to foot-pounds of energy, we calculated 277.6. And again, that's an averaging over five shots. And then when you look at the fired bullets, we measure expansion, and the widest expansion, uh, a point, widest expansion point measured out to 13.65 millimeters, or 0 0.57 inches. Coincidentally, so additionally, we measured the length of the bullet for you, just for fun, and the 150 grain measures out to 28.65 millimeters, and on the other end of the spectrum, we have the 115 grain that measures at 27.59 millimeters as you can see not a large difference so now we're looking at the wound track since i can't call it the whole thingy in the gel i got in trouble mm -hmm. uh, and you can see that the track measures about 14 inches and that's where the bullet came to rest and note we're just looking at the top track the bottom track is not related And that's it for this video. Special shout out to Redline Ballistics for all their support and being able to find what I need. And uh, thank you for watching and God bless.